Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. My name is Jason. We're out here in the yard with the chickens this evening because it's turning spring, right? We're, we're, it's officially spring. It'd be kind of cold here in Southwest Ohio, but it's spring. The chickens are out here on the grass getting some lovely nutrition for all those beautiful eggs they lay for us. And you know, if your yard is anything like us or if you're anything like us, you have just this typical backyard, which is exactly what we, so we talk about is doing all this stuff in your backyard, right? But it's a typical backyard, nothing, nothing fancy by no means, right? which is the basic half acre lot. This is just the backyard of, of, of which we have. And this is where all the chickens forage at, right? And most Americans, at least most people that I talk to in, in this area, they, they hate to have weeds in their yard, okay? <laughs> they can't stand it. And the weeds are popping up this time of year, no, ma no matter what it may be, the, whether it's the wild onions or the dandelion or the, or the clover that people hate so much. We, we've got weeds in our raised beds all over the place. And it's just, it's typical. It's what it is. It's the time of year the weeds are starting to pop up. And rather than spraying those weeds, let's just feed them to the chickens if we can. One issue with that though is what weeds can they actually eat? The weeds in your yard can be very beneficial to them. You know, there's chickweed, purple dead nettle, the dandelion greens, clovers, uh, there's all kinds. But what is it that they actually can eat? Because some things may actually be toxic to them and in turn toxic to you. So while my chickens forage in the yard tonight, let's talk about just some basic common weeds that you can find in, in, in your everyday backyard, pretty much in any region across the country that your chickens can eat and ones that maybe they shouldn't eat. Many weeds are very beneficial to chickens. Um, they're highly nutrient rich and they make for delicious, absolutely delicious eggs. For, like, for instance, dandelion greens, okay? Dandelion is something that people here, they see a little bit of yellow flower and they freak out. Go spray it, go kill it, get it out of here, right? All right, I understand it's not maybe as, it's not beautiful in a solid green lush yard to have dandelions in there. I, I understand that, but at the same time, when you spray those dandelions you're, to kill them, if a honeybee gets on, gets on there, you're then in turn gonna kill the honeybee, in which we need bees. Honeybees are very vitally important to our food system. But also, hey, chickens can eat that dandelion, especially the greens. They'll eat the dandelion maybe, but the greens especially. We used to have one chicken that when I would feed them dandelion greens one evening, the next day she would lay an egg that was bigger than normal. Not massive, but bigger than normal, good extra large egg. She adored them, it's like she lost her mind for them. Lucy, we still love you even though you're gone. Right here below me, these chickens are nibbling on some fresh, young, tender grass. And there may be a few wild onions in there. And it's okay. They can eat those wild onions. You may not want them to eat too many of them because if they eat like a massive amount of wild onions, you might get a wild onion flavor in your eggs. And if you like that, who cares, right? But that's not exactly something we're going for. It's important to remember that what your chickens eat is certainly affecting their eggs, okay? It's a whatever, it's your diet in, garbage in, garbage out type deal their food is going to affect their eggs and will affect the flavor of their eggs so if they're eating something very strong onions garlic things like that it can affect that flavor of the egg other things they can eat would be clover plantain okay plantain is not necessarily out right now but it's it's a very just very leafy green that you find in your yard it's not the big banana looking thing when that's not what we're talking about talking about a plantain which is just some greens. Angela's gonna try and throw some pictures up for you while in the edit process of this but so I'm gonna try and cover them very very slowly <laughs> but uh, wood sorrel more of a summertime weed again lambs quarters like probably another summer weed but we're getting there right purslane I, I did see some purslane in the yard I got a picture of maybe Angela got those dead nettle purple dead nettle is something that they they can certainly eat ours don't Okay, um, it, some people some, some call it red dead nettle, some just dead nettle, some purple dead nettle. It's dead nettle, right? <laughs> but ours don't eat it. I, I think they can, they just don't. Wish they would because we have a lot of it growing. Wild violets, those will be in the yard. Over here in our yard, typically over this way, there's a bunch of wild violet about May. And uh, also wild strawberries come along. But one thing that they absolutely adore that we have plenty of right now is all this chickweed. This chickweed grows in this cinder block bed around the garlic every year. Can't stop it. We've tried to uproot it, everything. So it grows around the garlic. See, the garlic's looking great, but it's full of chickweed. <laughs> and it's really tender, and chickens will adore it. So we're gonna pull some of it up right now and feed it to them, 
so you can get the enjoyment of seeing these girls go nuts for it. Somebody found out what I was doing and squeezed their little soft over through there, didn't you, Tootie? <laughs> yeah. And you see what she's doing too, don't you? What are you eating, Tootie? Huh? What are you eating? Hmm? <laughs> yep. Exactly. A little treat, huh? And as you'll see, once they get used to knowing that you're going over here to get food or that you're bringing them a treat of some kind, they know it and they start paying attention to where you're at and then they start wanting that food all the time. And they're like, oh, hey, hey you, give me some food. Hey, you want some food, right? <laughs> That's what they're doing every time. Especially these New Hampshire Reds. That's what Tootie is. She's a, well, it's actually technically New Hampshire, but she's a New, so she's a New Hampshire and she, they love their treats and they love food in general. Don't you, Tootie? And we're starting to garner some attention. Isn't that right, Maggie? Chickens are very food driven. <laughs> hey, Naomi. You trying to come over the top? Come on. Go on, Tootie. Go on, Tootie. Get out. Go on, Tootie. Go back home. Go back. There you go. Hey. Come on now. Watch them come running from everywhere. Huh. Yeah. They're gonna eat this very quickly. The good food? Is that good? The young ones like like Miss Layla aren't used to it yet. Huh. They love their chickweed. I actually thought about titling this video chickens love weed, but I didn't think people would really understand or maybe appreciate my sense of humor, especially YouTube. Madeline, do you like chickweed? Yeah. Yeah, just singing. Good girls. Now, while these girls behind me are enjoying some chickweed and working on make, making us some very nutritious eggs, we'll go over just a handful of things that maybe you'll find in your backyard that you don't want your chickens to eat, okay? Typically, they won't eat the things that are toxic to them. It's possible that, that they could get a hold of it. And if so, they eat too much of it, it will kill them. But just a little bit they get a hold of could, could harm them, make them a little sick. Getting your eggs and like they could actually transfer through the eggs, affect the flavor of the eggs to where they just taste weird or possibly even hurt your stomach. Honestly, it really, it's, it's possible that toxicity could transfer and hurt your stomach. A big one is Creeping Charlie. It's gonna have a, an aroma to it, which I think is a very poor aroma. We do have some in our area, which is partially why we do keep this fence up, keeps them out of the areas that I know there's Creeping Charlie at. That way when they get out in the yard, we're not having to watch them and watch everything they, they eat. We know that what's in this area is good and won't harm them. So we know, we just keep them out of the areas that we don't want them in, right? Also, pokeweed, it typically it's not a uh, early spring deal but it's it's just you know what it does it gets the berries on it and everything and it's 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 toxic humans could eat the wheat the the greens the wheat itself i guess some people do like in the south especially cook them i don't understand it, it doesn't seem doesn't seem beneficial in any way but you should don't let your chickens get a hold of that especially the berries birds don't eat those berries and you see them when it's pooped out on your windshield that's what they're pooping out is pokeweed berries <laughs> it's Buttercup is one, and it's gonna look a little like wild strawberry. Like the blue, it's gonna have little yellow flowers on it, like a like a wild strawberry might. But it's actually gonna be buttercup. There's some slight differences in them, so be careful. Burdock is something we've got quite a bit of that in our yard. Uh, some people say it's not toxic. It's toxic. Some people say it is toxic. Our chickens haven't really shown any interest in eating it, and there's really no point in trying to force them to eat it. Two things you might be planting in your yard that you're gonna really like the look of, but your chickens don't need to get a hold of it. Pretty much any animals, dogs, cats as well. A lot, a lot of this toxicity can go for, for your uh, pets as well, your dogs and cats. Daffodils and irises. You might enjoy the way they look, but the chickens and your pets don't need to be around it. It's very toxic to them. So be careful on that. Now, if all else fails, and you wanna give them a fun treat, 
They don't have a lot of fun. Sock them up a little bit, and you don't really have a lot of a lot of weeds in your yard. Cornbread works just fine. Watch this. Come on, kiddos. There you go. <laughs> All right. Good. Goes like that. Want some cornbread? Huh? There you go, kids. Good cornbread? Huh? Is that good cornbread? What do you think? Come on, Bella. Get you some cornbread, Bella. Yeah. Good cornbread, Gracie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now while these chickens enjoy the rest of that cornbread, I enjoyed it last night quite thoroughly myself, but give them leftover cornbread. Eat some for yourself first, would you? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love y'all, and God bless you, and goodbye.